in this video, I want to share with you a little trick that will blow your mind. Because unlike most other behavioral techniques, this actually works. We all procrastinate. We all have bad habits and we know what's good for us. But sometimes we have trouble actually doing what's good for us. My newest bad habit is scrolling endlessly through TikTok, especially in the bathroom. It's so entertaining, but so addictive. When it comes to healthy habits, the go big or go home doesn't work for me. We're constantly bombarded with messages that healthy habits and achieving goals are products of extreme willpower and discipline. If you can't do it, it's because you lack these qualities. For me, attempting not to keep scrolling through TikTok became further proof of my inherent flaws. The thing is that our primitive brains like to do what feels good in the moment. Humans are hardwired to want things. Now. It's called instant gratification. It's a powerful force. Of course, watching TikTok videos is more enjoyable than exercising or reading. But what if I tell you that you can have your cake and eat it too? You can procrastinate and be productive at the same time. Or one after another. The best thing is that we'll take off the pressure of being perfect and productive all freaking time. I'm talking about a smart technique called habit stacking. It's about the little things we routinely do every day. About implementing new habits on top of the existing ones, good or bad. In essence, the goal is to complete the habits that you know are important by stacking them on the unimportant ones that give you instant gratification. Habit stacking. Sounds simple, right? Habit stacking works because you eliminate the stress of adding too many new things to your life and you don't have to give up completely on the dopamine driving habits. I mean, you can give them up, but only if you choose to. You begin with a few simple but effective habits and then build on them as the routine becomes an important, can't miss part of your day. In his book, Atomic Habits, James Clear recommends the following habit stacking formula. For example, here are some examples of habit stacks I currently have in my life. After I brush my teeth, I will meditate for 15 minutes. After I meditate, I will take a shower. After my shower, I will work for two hours. For me, the sandwich habit stacking works even better. Between two good habits, throw in a not so good one. For example, after I work for two hours, I will browse TikTok for 20 minutes. After I browse TikTok for 20 minutes, I will stretch for 10 minutes. They all naturally build on one another and don't feel burdensome. Plus, you don't have to give up completely the dopamine-driven ones. You might say it's not that easy to put the phone down after only 20 minutes. But what I found out is that it's easier if I set my TikTok app to close after 20 minutes. This way, I don't have to make the conscious decision to stop and actually close the app. The phone does it for me. Another interesting strategy to try out is to do an in-front-of-the-TV workout. Most of us already spend a lot of time in front of screens, watching TV shows, movies, news, or sports. So why not take some of that passive time and combine it with physical activity? Basically, I open Netflix and then go through simple exercises while watching Netflix, such as stretching with a few yoga poses thrown in, lunges, jumping jacks, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups. One reason the in front of the TV workout has been so effective for me is because that it fits my personality in two key ways. Introversion. I prefer working out alone rather than with others, especially in these times. I like movies. I enjoy watching Netflix, but often feel like I'm not being productive and I'm wasting my time. So by adding a workout to my movies, I feel like I'm using my time more wisely. The power of synaptic pruning. There is a phenomenon that happens as we age called synaptic pruning. Synapses are connections between the neurons in your brain. The basic idea is that your brain prunes away connections between neurons that don't get used and builds up connections that get used more frequently. Synaptic pruning occurs with every habit you build. Your brain builds a strong network of neurons to support your current behaviors. The more you do something, the stronger and more efficient the connection becomes. That's the thing with habit stacking. If you identify a current habit you already do each day and then stack your new behavior on top, you use the connectedness of behavior to your advantage. Habit starts with a psychological pattern called a habit loop. In the habit loop, there are three processes, a cue or trigger, a behavior, and a reward. As you continue implementing a habit, your brain has to work less and less to make decisions. 
and so the habit becomes almost involuntary. In my case, going to the bathroom became my cue to browse TikTok on my phone. The behavior was picking up my phone and opening up my TikTok app. The reward was entertainment. Habit stacking can often make building new habits easier because you are creating an association in your mind between the new habit and something that's already deeply ingrained into your brain. This makes the new habit far more likely to stick with you. Attaching good habits to existing habits that you do all the time can help maximize the probability that you'll do it. Example, brushing teeth, eating, going to bed are all things people can stack habits onto. You may not be 100% perfect, but 80% accuracy in a good daily habit is a huge success for anyone. So basically, you can just add one habit at a time and maintain it before adding another one. Gradual lifestyle changes are harder to fall out of. If you all of a sudden were waking up super early, eating really healthy, and running 5 miles a day, the chances of relapsing and failing are pretty high, but the level of performance could definitely be achieved through a long-term process and that'll definitely be more sustainable. Start slow. This is a marathon, not a sprint. You also do not want to do too much too soon. You'll increase the chances that you'll skip things because you don't have time. In our bigger is better culture, where most of us instinctively seek big breakthroughs, it's hard to believe that small changes can produce extraordinary results. But the wonderful reality is, they can, because small changes inspire small wins, and small wins inspire us to persevere when we feel like quitting. You might say, I don't have any regular habit that I can stack other things on top of. You have habits. You eat, you use the toilet, you wake up, you go to sleep. We don't think of those as habits, but they are. Putting a habit you want to learn right after a habit you already have. For instance, you brush your teeth every night. So add on taking vitamins after you brush your teeth. The brushing is the trigger to make the taking the vitamins second nature. Make time to create a morning or bedtime routine. It's enormously helpful. Stick to it no matter how much you don't want to do it at first. It becomes muscle memory after a couple of weeks. Again, the reason habit stacking works so well is that your current habits are already built onto your brain. You have patterns and behaviors that have been strengthened over years. By linking your new habits to a cycle that is already built into your brain, you make it more likely that you'll stick to the new behavior. Prioritize systems over goals. Because since it is a system, it gets done automatically. With a goal, there's a lot more motivation and willpower involved. System is about eliminating both from the equation. This line summarized it perfectly. Winners and losers have the same goals, but the one with a better system is more likely to win. Habit stacking is a technique that just has so much potential and it's up to you to get creative with it and find all the different ways that you can apply it into your life. I'd love to hear what habits you decide to stack, so please, please, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found value in it. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more content like this. Have a great day!